Tracy Chapman with Eric Clapton and Friends. I love that tune, and I love Clapton's playing. He's one of my all-time favorite guitarists. I'm Ravenna Maselli on a wow dot radio a little early for Andrew Zellman, Cleveland Scene Magazine, but he's here today and ready to get rolling on what's going on in Cleveland. Good morning. Good morning. Cleveland's own, right? Tracy Chapman there? Uh, yeah, man. Yes, one Mother of the best. lives in Avon Lake. Yeah, we've met her. It's cool. Yeah, she's fantastic. She got her start busking and, uh, in Boston because she went to Tufts. Yeah, nice. yeah, there you go. So what's going on? So uh, this week's feature story is about, it comes out tomorrow, obviously, the paper uh, issue of Scene. It's about the Greater Cleveland Congregations. This is the group of various uh, ministers and priests and rabbis throughout uh, Northeast Ohio that have come together as, as a coalition uh, to fight for or against or to voice their opinion on things as various issues have come up. The last time they were in the news was around the time of the funding dispute or debate around the arena, um, the, oh, yes. the rocket, mm -hmm. now the rocket mortgage before the queue. And uh, this group was in opposition to all this public funding going to the arena, and they were in opposition. They finally kind of caved on it, and there was a lot of backroom machinations, and, and there were people very unhappy about it. So we take a look at kind of what happened to them and what the current state of that group is as they've faced all these internal issues and strife about uh, kind of how that went down with the queue. So they don't like public funding? They don't. Well, they want public comes, funding to yeah. help people, <laughs> not for an arena. Yeah. But in the end, they did cave to what was being asked uh, because they faced a lot of pressure from various uh, congregants at oh, some of their We might find places. out about that then. Yeah, so okay. there might be some stories about that and kind of the aftermath of how that happened. I'll be interested to read yes. that. And you also have the e-edition, uh, clevescene.com as well, so you Which can is check that out. out right now. It is, it's out. Yes. I'm looking at it now, there so go. what's going on, so what else? We've got some dining news. Last time we were here, I believe, we talked about Tai Tai in Lakewood and how Tai Tai is moving down the street into a bigger location. The news also came out that the, there is a restaurant going in the old Tai Tai space, Where so it kind of on? goes from one to the next. So this is called Dang Good Foods. <laughs> it's a Singapore street food oh, place. All right. that it's a food good. truck that's only actually been in existence for four or five months. And I they don't were even looking, know about it. I haven't had it either. Food? Dang good foods. Wow. And they were looking for a restaurant space, and they found this one in Lakewood. It's only about a 15 or 20 seater, but perfect for a startup restaurant, what they're trying to do. And so they're going to be moving into this space in December. Tai Tai is planning on opening in December at their new space. Dang Good Foods moves it. I'll be curious to see that because Singapore, you know, the, it's going to be clean. <laughs> it's, it, it sounds, the food sounds really good. So we'll see what happens there. Uh, we also have this week's food review is of Lux, which is a mainstay in the Gordon Square, Detroit Shoreway right area. Down the street. Yes, yeah. um, the scene dining editor Doug Tratner decided to, to take another look at it. They're actually celebrating their 10th anniversary right now. That's pretty and, amazing. Yeah, and he never reviewed the restaurant, and they've obviously made a lot of changes, have a beautiful patio there. And so Doug spent some time checking out Lux in this week's food review I've, as well. I've been there many times, and the food is fantastic. They have some great pizzas, and I know Steve Pappas is a huge fan of uh, their pizzas as well. He's always trying to get us to go there, and we have many, many times. I love Lux. And it's a great bar scene, a great patio, dog-friendly. Wonderful bar scene, yes, in 10 years, and the restaurant business is quite an accomplishment. It's very impressive, especially it's, for a place yeah, like that. Small stuff. And they started out when nothing was happening right. in Golden Square. So. There weren't many restaurants yeah, or cool. other establishments in the neighborhood either. So what else? So <laughs> as long as we're talking about food, yes, this coming weekend, <laughs> this coming weekend, the feast yeah, returns the to Little Italy. Yes. yes, the 121st feast is in Little Italy. Runs from Thursday noon to 11, Friday 6 to midnight, Saturday Noon to midnight, I'm Sunday, ready. noon to 11. I'm Italian. I'm there. My cousins are coming into town from Connecticut. So we'll be at the feast. It sounds good. And you also have 31 of the best happy hour specials. People should check that out, too. Oh Find all the places they can go. Yes! I love a good happy hour. I'm going to attempt to do all 31. Good luck. From Cleveland Scene, Andrew Zellman, publisher. Cleveland Scene Magazine comes out tomorrow on a wow.